Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's episode, I have something very interesting that a lot of you are going to appreciate. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and efficiently increase your power level in Fortnite Save the World. This can be done in many ways, and it's very easy to do, and pretty much anyone can do it. So, let's get into it. Before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away 22,144 God Roll Traps for anyone who enters the giveaway in my Discord server. So the link will be in the top of the description and good luck. Well, let's not keep you waiting any longer. So I'm going to be showing you a few ways that will really boost up your power level quite quickly, to be honest. On my other account, I went from power level 87 to 121 in the space of two weeks by doing this. So. The first thing you want to do is come over to your survivors here and click your squads. Now, your survivor squads is what gives you certain perks. So you can get plus 5% health bonuses. You can get trap damage, shield bonuses, trap durability, etc. But this can also have a massive increase on your power level. So if we go to this survivor right here, click upgrade and level up just once, you can see here that my power level has very slightly increased just by one level. So our survivor squads are very, very important. So as you can see here, I have a lot of legendary and mythic survivors. These are the ones that you actually want to go for. If you have epic survivors, it still works. Just make sure that you click this button right here, turn autofill on, as I already have it on. Uh, a lot of people are a little bit kind of hesitant to turn it on, but that's because it's different for everybody. But if you are a low power level, I highly recommend you turn this on. So to level up your survivors here, you will need survivor XP and you can actually find survivor XP pretty easily in the missions. So here we go. The first mission that I found on my Plankerton survivor XP for the mission rewards. You can also get two times survivor XP from rescue to survive missions. And sometimes you can get uh, four times survivor XP from these four players suggested missions. This gives you a lot. And depending if you are in Plankerton or Stonewood, it really varies, to be honest. Uh, but most of the time, a lot of the XP comes from Twine Peaks. Now, a lot of people do pay for carries on Twine Peaks, so they get their friends to go in a 140 mission and get them in there to get a lot of Survivor XP. And I'm talking about a million at a time. Of course, with your Survivor XP, you will also need some pure drops of rain, lightning in a bottle, eye of the storm and storm shard. And you can also get these by doing the missions. These are very important for evolving your survivors so you can level them up to a higher level. So on the command section, you want to head down to your research area and this will show you all of your stats. So you have fortitude, offense, resistance and tech. So these give you health, weapon damage, shield and shield regeneration rate and the ability damage, trap damage and healing rate. This might seem pretty pointless to you, but trust me, it is vital. Once you get your bars all the way to here and it resets back to the beginning, you actually gain quite a bit of power level. You don't actually need to be in the game to gain these points. So every day you can log on, claim your points, pop them in here. And if I were you, I'd make sure that all of these are at kind of the same level as you can see here. I've got 38 and 38. Uh, you want to make sure they're all kind of the same so you can evenly distribute your stats. And the final way to increase your power level quickly is by doing your storm shield. So by doing your storm shield, you actually unlock higher missions. So once you get to Plankerton Storm Shield Defense 6 or Stonewood Defense 5, you unlock different areas of the game. So as you can see here, I have Stonewood Plankerton and I currently have Canny Valley and Twine Peaks locked. So I can't actually access these until my storm shield has reached a certain level and I have completed my quest line. If you want to complete your quest line quickly, I have another video on that, which I will also leave in the description. It saves so much time and it is so efficient. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment, join my Discord server where I will be most active. It might be a lot easier for you and me together. I hope you have a good day. Take care. Have a good one.